Hello everyone, my name is Sir Elmar Fernandez and my students used to call me Sir Elmar and this time I have a short uh, video lesson or uh, presentation for our grade 9 students and also to our grade 8 students. So uh, I made this uh, video lesson uh, to uh, to help our uh, students or to provide learning material while they are uh, staying in their home uh, during this time and also guys this is my first time uh, making this uh, platform in teaching and this will serve as a uh, dry run first kung okay ba pero uh, I think makakatulong din to sa ating mga estudyante ngayon okay so ano ba yung ituturo ko sa inyo or uh, ipipresent ko sa inyo so we have this one Solving problem involving inverse variation. Objective, the learner solves problems involving inverse variation. Okay, so yan yung uh, goal natin. Next, we have the uh, review. Okay, so review about inverse variations. So we will just make a short uh, recap about uh, the concept of inverse variation, variations. So again, inverse variations is a, is a kind of uh, variation wherein if one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. So bali, um, baliktad yung uh, pagbabago ng mga quantities natin dahil habang yung isa tumataas, ang isa naman ay bumababa. Next. Okay. So, we have the drill about multiplication and division. So, you only need to master on how to multiply and on how to divide. So, that would be our uh, prerequisite in solving inverse variation. So, magagamit niyan siya, guys, para mas mapabilis ang pag-solve sa problem natin. Next. Word problems can be solved through mathematical concept and analysis. Here's our, here are the steps required for solving inverse variation problems. So, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung mga steps at ito yun sila. First, Write the correct equation. Inverse variation problems are solved using the equation y plus k over x. Remember that k is the constant of variation. Next. Use the information given in the problem to find the value of k. Okay. Next. Rewrite the equation from step 1, substituting in the value of k found in step 2. Use the equation found in step 3 and the remaining information given in problem to answer the question being asked. Now, uh, guys, although we have uh, 4 steps uh, presented, but I want you to uh, to know that my solution here uh, in the following problems are just using shortcut. No? So, or I mean, I answered the question or the problem using the shortcut. Because when I uh, teach uh, this lesson to my students, I only use the shortcut. For uh, our students not to, uh, to uh, make hard time in solving the problem. Okay? So, I did not follow the steps. Instead, I use or I apply the shortcut. Okay? So, example number one. 
The volume V of gas varies inversely as the pressure P on it. If the volume is 240 cubic centimeter under pressure of 30 kilogram per square centimeter, what pressure has to be applied to have a volume of 160 cubic centimeter? Now, as you can see in our problem, we have two quantities involved. We have the volume and then the pressure. Okay? And then, uh, with that, we have uh, three known quantities in the problem. And these are, or this can be uh, represented by V sub 1 or V1 as 240 cubic centimeter. Next, we have P1 as 30 kilogram per square centimeter. And we have V2 as 160 cubic centimeter. And the quantity being uh, asked is P2. Okay, and that is what we are going to find out or to solve. Okay, our uh, solution is this one. P equals 240 times 30 over 160 equals 45. So, what I did is just multiply the first two quantities and divide their product to the third quantity. And that is equal to 45. And our uh, conclusion, therefore, the pressure of 45 kilogram per square centimeter is to be applied to have volume of 160 cubic centimeter. Now, uh, take note that uh, in stating our final answer, don't forget the unit. Okay, like kilogram per square centimeter. Okay, let us uh, proceed. Problem number two. The current in a simple electrical circuit varies inversely to the resistance. If the current is 80 ohms when the resistance is 50 ohms, find the current when the resistance is 20 ohms. So we are talking about current and resist resistance. And given R, we have C1 as 80 ohms, R1 as 50 ohms, and we have C2 as 20 ohms. No, no, R2 rather as 20 ohms. So, ano yung tinatanong? So, tinatanong dito is yung C2. Okay? So, ayan. So, applying the shortcut again, we have the solution. I equals 80 times 50 over 20 equals 4,000 over 20. And that is equal to 200. But way back to our, uh, no, or go back to our solution first, 80 times 50 over 20. We can uh, divide first 80 divide 20 and that is equal to 4 times 50 that is 200. So, we arrive the same answer. Okay, so, yun ang ibig kong sabihin guys. As long as that uh, we can see a simple uh, solution or shortcut, why not apply? Why not use? Okay, so, 
conclusion or final answer. Therefore, the current is 200 ohms when the resistance is 20 ohms. Okay? So, we're talking about inverse again. When one quantity increases, the other decreases. Okay. So, uh, in problem number two, the current or we have C2 is 200. And let us compare the quantities. Okay. Balik muna tayo. So, ayan. Ang current natin, first, or C1, is 80. Okay? And then, ang resistance natin is 50 ohms. So, given na yung dalawang resistance, we have R1 and R2, from 50 ohms down to 20 ohms. So, bumaba o tumaas? So, bumaba. So, anong nangyari sa current natin? So, ang current natin from 80 nagiging 200. So, therefore, bumaba yung isa, ang isa tumaas. So, that is inverse variation. Okay? Next. Quick practice. The time T required to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate of R of pumping. If a pump can empty a tank in 3 hours at a rate of 400 gallons per minute, how long will it take to empty a tank at 600 gallons per minute? Okay? So, we have um, the time and then the, the rate. Okay? So, we just simply uh, multiply and divide. No? So, our uh, solution will be 3 times 400 over 600. And the answer is 2. Now, so, final answer natin ay 2 hours. Okay, so, okay, pansin ninyo, from 3 hours to 2 hours, bumaba. From 400 gallons to 600 gallons, tumaas. Inverse. Okay? Next, the application. Ano naman ang uh, application nito sa buhay natin? Okay? So, ito yung nagbibigay ng uh, idea, no? About uh, the effect of uh, one quantity to the other. Okay? So, Inverse variation can be observed in many situations in real life such as number of days to construct a building and number of workers. So, totoo yan. Kasi kapag may ginagawang building, no, kung konti uh, lang naman yung gumagawa, mas uh, mahaba yung time sa paggawa. Pero kung marami sila, Maiksi lang yung time at matatapos nila yung building na yan. No? So, ganun. Katulad lang yan sa atin. Pag may ginagawa tayo sa bahay, pag nagtutulungan, mabilis siyang matapos. Dahil marami yung gumagawa. Okay? So, next. So, this is now your uh, turn to answer. Solve the following. Ah... Uh, just read the problem, analyze the problem, and then uh, answer it using the shortcut. Don't forget to uh, to attach the unit 
on your final answer. Okay, that is problem number one. Okay, so we have problem number two. Okay guys, so uh, I hope uh, nakatulong ako sa inyo and I hope uh, nakapagbigay ako ng konting kaalaman sa inyo. So, um, gagawa na lang din po ako ng panibagong uh, video lesson at ibang lesson na naman yun. Kasi itong ginawa ko ngayon, uh, kung ano lang yung available na, na PowerPoint na meron na ako, yun lang muna yung ginamit ko. But uh, I will try na gagawin ko siya uh, na naka-sequence na. Okay, so ayun, uh, maraming salamat sa mga audience natin or sa mga audience ko. Kung may mga suggest kayo para may pa-improve yung uh, video uh, lesson na to, uh, pwede nyo lang or pwede kayong mag-suggest. Ha? Okay. That would highly appreciated. So, thank you so much and bye-bye.